Hello, I'm Chad Miller Thomas and welcome to Liberally Seasoned and in this episode I am making shrimp and asparagus paprikash. This is such a fun recipe and it's got so many different flavors, primarily paprika, but um, there's a little bit of different things that you can add to this that really make it unique and exotic. So uh, first I started off with uh, cutting up two red bell peppers, one of which I've had uh, marinating in uh, vinegar and salt. The other one that um, I took to the broiler and roasted them. And then the third one, I'm just going to cut up and use it um, as is. I'm also going to include a sliced up a small onion. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut up the ordinary pepper. Um, I'm going to uh, cut this up into uh, different sizes just so to help differentiate from the flavors of the other ones. Um, the other two I have uh, in long strips. I like things chunky. Um, so, but I'm going to cut this down a little bit finer. The onions are screaming at me. Don't crack for me, little small onion. Alright, so in a small uh, pot, I've already got some butter, some extra virgin olive oil, and some minced garlic in there. I'm going to hit this up on medium heat. Let that heat up and have the butter melt down. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and add some pepper. A little bit of turmeric. big palmfuls of paprika and a nice palmful of smoked paprika as well. So we're going to go ahead and twirl in your dog shrimp. And while I would much prefer to actually use fresh asparagus in this, uh, the only option we had at the grocery store at the time was frozen. Um, being that, you know, times are what they are right now, uh, being at the grocery store isn't necessarily a leisurely visit, so frozen it has to be. We're going to throw that right in. Alright, we'll let that sit for a minute or two. Alright, so I've added a bit more of the spices. Continuously stirring in all those delicious flavors. Oh, it smells amazing already. Alright, so now that the shrimp is primarily cooked, I'm going to go ahead and add the onion and the regular bell pepper. Okay, so at this point you're going to want to add a little bit of liquid. Whether it be just water or if you want to use stock of any kind. Uh, just to make it a little bit 
almost kind of stewish um, because we're going to be adding in some thickening agents a little bit later but that way everything has a chance to marry all together and it's going to be so delicious so go ahead and add a little bit of liquid uh, to the point where it just seems a little bit stewish we also want to give it some time for the regular bell peppers and the onions to cook down a little bit the other peppers that I want to add I want uh, to be a little bit more crisp um, especially the pickled ones and then the oven roasted ones are going to be a little bit softer already so but they're going to add a lot of like really nice flavor at this point I would also add in something for heat whether it's red chili flakes, uh, a chili adobo paste, even some Tabasco if that's what you have um, because you're going to want to make a nice balance of the, the sweet and the smoky and the spicy aspects of this dish. It's going to be amazing, trust me. Okay, so I've strained the pickled peppers. I'm going to go ahead and add those in. Now the pickled peppers have been marinating in vinegar and salt for quite some time, probably about three hours. So they're going to retain a lot of the tartness and then it's going to marry in with the other flavors and oh, when you bite into them it's just amazing. Okay now I'm going to go ahead and add in the roasted red peppers. And I've gone ahead and reduced the heat to a low simmer. Since the shrimp and the asparagus are cooked now. And now we are going to add in about a cup each of plain Greek yogurt and sour cream. Occasionally stirring, and then we'll almost be ready to go. All right, so we're going to plate this baby up, slap it down on the plates, and then we're going to take a little bit of honey and drizzle right over the top, just lightly, and then sprinkle it with your favorite green garnish. It was parsley, mint, basil, oregano, something like that. And then you get this. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. And we'll see you here again. Love and light to you all.